Um, so Netherlands are currently playing Czech Republic uh, in the Euros. I'll let you guys know of the score if you're not watching it on another screen. I'm kind of watching it out of the corner of my eye. I'll just let you guys know that now. Uh, so if I go quiet for whatever reason, it's because there's maybe something happening. Although I watched the first half. It was the dullest thing I've ever seen. There were a couple of chances, but nothing exciting. So I'm not getting my hopes up. Let's put it that way. To say that I laughed when Scotland went out would be an understatement. Um, I don't like it when the, most of the other home nations... And I don't think we've ever had this... Oh, header over. Good save. But yeah, I laughed. I laughed. And if you are Scottish and you're watching this, I do apologise. But at the same time, I laughed. Baker just hit the post there. Did you see that? Really good build-up. This is a cracking ball in from... Uh, who was it? Gadger. That was it. To Hudson Doncaster. Little back heel there to Baker. And he's just clunked the post. It was easier to score there. And he's missed it. Unbelievable. I kind of want the Czech Republic to win this. There's a potential red card check as well through VAR. Imagine. Imagine if the Netherlands got knocked out. Everyone will be saying it's because Van Dijk's not there. But we all know that's not true. I don't think it'll be a red card. I didn't even see the challenge, but if it has to go to VAR like that, I don't think it's a red card. Um, but yeah, learning new skills, never a bad thing. I'm learning on the job right now. I've been working on After Effects the last couple of weeks. And before that, I only used After Effects once or twice for like really basic animations. Whereas now I'm using it um, quite a lot. If you are following racing games on social media, Facebook, and we are launching or relaunching the YouTube channel this coming week, um, you'll notice some videos have gone up on the Facebook page using those little animations. The templates already existed, but I've been like trying to change them up a little bit, make them a little bit... I keep going to say better, but it really isn't better. Just make it more suited to my style of work, let's say. Because I fell out of love with Adobe. I still am in a love-hate relationship with Adobe. The fact that I'm now having to use Audacity again to record my voiceovers because for some reason Premiere did an update recently, which meant that it no longer played previews smoothly. It judders, which is why some of my OpenTTD videos have got like 20 to 30 seconds of audio missing uh, in the voiceover. You'll hear it suddenly jump ahead. And that's why the video lengths weren't matching. And that's why I was talking about things on screen that weren't actually happening on screen. So at the time of recording, they were happening on screen. By the time the video was finished, uh, they weren't happening on screen. And that was really annoying. Gadget to Akram, finding Akinyemi. And good defending as well, just to keep that one on the safe side there. That's a good ball. Akinyemi running in behind. Oh, he's hit the post as well, I think. Or did the keeper get a glove to it? That's a free kick. Do we get a replay of that? I think we do, yeah. Great build-up play again. What a ball this was from Gonzalez Velasco. Left foot. D did that hit the post? Or did it glitch? Did it look like it hit the post, but actually the keeper saved it? I, I genuinely don't know. Logos are always hard. In my head, I've got designs for logos, but when it comes to actually making them a reality, um, I have a graphics tablet that my um, my missus bought for me, which I was using. I need to start using again. Uh, oh, good header, good save. He's going to run a little bit down this right-hand side. Akinyemi taking up residency in the box. So is Baker. Crossing opportunity here for a two. And he does get it in. Baker's shot. And there's the goal. 26th goal of the season for Harry Baker in the 38th minute of the game. Finally, we've broken through. Awesome stuff. Really, really good cross there from uh, Javier too as well. And a really nice volley. Good run here from Gonzalez Velasco. His cross block comes back to a two. Just opens his body up, gets the cross in. And then Baker on the volley on his stronger foot as well. Beautiful goal. Alright, Baker here on the ball. Plays it over the top to Akinyemi. That's a good takedown from him. Is he going to shoot? No, he's going to hold it up. Pulls it back to Gadger. He has a shot. And he does score his first goal of the season, Jack Gadger, in the 41st minute to make it 2-0. 
Excellent stuff. If I've started shouting, sorry, it's because I've. this is one of my favourite tracks from the Planet Zoo soundtrack, so I'll just put my headphones back on. <laughs> it's quite loud, though. What a pullback that is. Akinyemi to Gadja has to be the, the most common pass combination in this match so far. Has to be. Surely. Dare I say it, but switching to the two up front and taking the number 10 out of the equation um, seems to have worked well for our uh, attacking intensity. Ident, short for identity. It's visual representation that can be easily recognised. It's a term used in my motion graphics assignment. Ah, well, there you go. And a good challenge there from a two. Oh, Frankie de Jong's just been booked for something. Probably just for playing for Barcelona, because that's a crime against humanity these days. Oh, a two is injured. I'm going to praise the team again just to get them on the good side of happiness. Nash finding Akram. Oh, God, is he injured now? Baker here on the ball, and he runs it out of play. Akram's having to go off injured now as well. This is not turning into a good game for us, injury-wise. Over the top again. Baker running onto it. Good touchdown to Studholm. He goes for goal. Oh, I really wanted that to find the net. Stop fold free kick. Tuttle was a bit clumsy, actually, at right back sometimes. A little bit clumsy. Devlin with the free kick. We're still not safe here. 16 minutes to go, and it's still only 2-0. And it's a good thing we've got a, an informed keeper between the sticks right now. Otherwise, we would probably be in trouble. Believe it or not, I've had a lot of people offer a lot of feedback over the years. Nine times out of ten, I'll take it on board and say, you know, fair enough, that's a valid point. If it's things like audio problems, thumbnail design, video titles even. Oh, Evans just scored. One sec, I'll come back to that point. I don't actually know what happened there. But apparently us switching to a more defensive tactic has led to us scoring the third goal of the game. Studholm here with the ball. To the back post. Evans' is header. Yeah. Good finish. Good ball. Very good. Just a little plug there. If you're on YouTube, links in the description. If you're on Twitch, head over to YouTube. Links in the description. Akinyemi goal there disallowed. That's a good volley, actually. It's a shame that he was offside. That's really close. To the point where I almost think he's onside there. That might have been a linesman mistake. Things like that. Also, the fact that referees make mistakes. Um... The absolute best one is when you're trying to sign a player and the team you're inquiring... Uh, to will offer a stupid amount of money like 400 million and everyone's like why is that like the transfer system's broken and as someone quite rightly pointed out today in fact that's the ai telling you to f off they don't want to sell you that player so they, they quote a ridiculous price in the hopes that you'll go away you either match it and sell and sign a player for six times what they're actually worth or you leave them alone i've already seen on youtube apparently he's, he's had some strange ideas for Oh, wow. Good goal. Why do they score right in the middle of me talking about something completely unrelated to football? Great strike there from Brandon Brown. Let's watch this. And Boyo here, who's he's been involved a lot as well today, in fairness. Squares it to Gregson, into Robinson, back to Brown. First time strike. I think that swerved. And that's why Extense wasn't able to get behind it. I've seen the Drive Tribe videos and the Food Tribe videos where they go to Diddley Squat. Hammond, I mean, who is is a joint, I think, at the moment between... I mean, it's given us 6.6 .6 to extents, which I think is incredibly harsh when you look at some of the saves he made. But that is full-time. 3-1. That's a really good result, as far as I'm concerned. 
Really, really good result. Um, before I end the game, I will say now, so next week, as I've said, is pre-recorded, so there won't be any spoilers for the matches there. Um, but moving forward, if I'm live streaming and there's a match going on at the same time, I will be talking about it. This is my disclaimer now, and I'll probably mention this on a blog or something so that you guys all know. Moving forward, I will be talking about the match. So just bear that in mind when you join the stream. I will be talking about the match. I'm sorry if I... Sorry? No. I am sorry if I spoiled it for anyone today. That was not my intention. But I've always in the past talked about matches that I'm watching live. Um, and today was no different. So, as I said, just, dis just a disclaimer. Moving forward. And, yeah. All good. Analytical data then. Where were we at? So, what number was Akinyemi? Was he 19, I think, when he came on? It's sad that he's not on here. Because this is useless information to me now. Because we made the subs. Unless he just happened to play in the same place as Hudson Doncaster. But I don't believe he would have. Um, Evans, man of the match. Is that fair? I don't know. I really would have given it to Dippo myself. I really, really would have. He was so much better. Extents, again, I think that's so harsh on him. He lets one goal in after making three or four really good saves. In fact, three good saves because there were three shots on target that, that didn't go in according to the, uh, the stats there. Pretty even. Shots on target wasn't as high for them. They had a few that went over. But 11 to 13, that's pretty close. 50 to 50 in terms of possession as well. I mean, you can't get closer than that. They're identical. Um, fouls. They committed more than us, which is interesting. They had more corners than us, too. Um, and then passes completed. They got more. We had one yellow card. They didn't. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty tight game. Pretty tight game. 